Greetings all, it's Max, and we're back with another Christian movie review, if you can call it a movie. New World Order, The End Has Come, from 2013. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, we'll read the synopsis <clears throat> here on IMDb. New World Order is a Christian-themed film about a second half of the Tribulation, popular in current eschatological circles. After the rapture, two young women question their true loyalties during the Earth's final days. Okay. What this effectively comes down to is the mark is being pushed on everybody, and when it finally is becomes mandatory, these these two girls here in the picture try to escape. The they they never bring up the rapture <clears throat> like at all in this in this movie. Um, it just kind of starts with everybody having marks. Oh, what to say? What to say? What to say? Okay, this movie, I believe it was based on a book um, by Dwayne McCoy, who is the screenwriter, the director, the guy who did the music for the movie, and pretty much every other credit was either him or his wife or somebody else related to him. This movie had a budget of $50,000, so I'm guessing that none of these actors got paid. Except maybe Rod Ed, Rob Edwards because he's a credited cast member. Everyone else is just kind of somebody that they found and said, "Hey, read these lines." Now I will say in this movie, the acting wasn't terrible with what they were given, but the screenplay was terrible and the music was terrible. Um, <laughs> it was almost so bad that it's good. It really, is almost so bad that it's good. What else to say about this movie? Because it only had a, a budget of like fifty thousand dollars. I mean, it's it's nice they put the movie together. I mean, it looked okay um, as far as the movie goes. The screenplay was bad. There were a lot of times where my wife and I were kind of laughing at it, and the music was hilarious um, with what they put on it. And the funniest thing is, apparently, it made enough money to where they're actually making a sequel. And we go to Rob Edwards here, who is not even really a main character. Rob Edwards plays the father of the the girl, the, the brown-haired girl, brunette girl, who won't take the mark. And he's in it a little bit. Ugh. But he's done some stuff, but look at here. New World Order, Rise of the Dark Prince. We got to go through another one? This is as bad as like Revelation Road. Where <laughs> I did Revelation Road, I think I maybe gave a five. But yeah, <clears throat> Revelation Road had three sequels too. And that actually had a budget. <sighs> On a $50,000 budget, I mean, it, 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 it feels like a a school like it's something you would do for class and college film school or something with no budget using their equipment and stuff there there isn't too much else to say about this movie at all um a lot of these christian movies very low budget and typically it's going to be the same screenplay <clears throat> direction producer cinematography is all going to be done by like one person <clears throat> In this movie, it shows, and like I said, the acting wasn't terrible for what the for for the lines that they're given. Um, IMDb gives this a five point two out of ten. I I'm gonna give it a four. It's not quite so bad that it's good. It's I mean, you know, it's right there. I mean, it's kind of fun to make fun of it. I'll go four point five. I'll go four point five on it because it is fun to kind of make fun of it. Um, it's kind of a waste of time, though. It's a waste of time. Mm, it's on Pure Flix if you want to go check it out there. And that's about all I have to say on this movie. I don't want to waste a ton of time with it. So, yeah. There you have it. 4.5, New World Order. The end has come.